I'm here at Lenaro Connect in Orlando, Florida, and I'm with Stephen Dole, the Chief Operating Officer for Lenaro. Stephen, how do the Lenaro Connect events help you achieve the goals of Lenaro? Yeah, so uh, good afternoon. And uh, Lenaro Connect is a, a really premier event for um, the, the company. It, uh, the, the, the main thing that it achieves is it brings together engineers from loads of different companies. So first of all, all of our members bring their, their engineers together every uh, three or so months. Um, that's typically 10 to 15 engineers per company, uh, mostly some of the, the, the real experts in their company, uh, and uh, also the guys who are actually working uh, inside Lenaro. Um, the, the sessions um, uh, that, that we run, um, first of all, involve planning out what we're going to be doing um, inside Lenaro for the next three to six months. Uh, and also the guys get face time, uh, engineering time, where they can work on common problems together. So what we're seeing in Lenaro is that we are um, uh, really building um, the, the, the place where uh, ARM Linux work is happening. So uh, that's the, probably the, the, the key thing that, that, that we've actually seen. When, when we first started these events out, we were um, uh, really not quite clear where, where the organization was going, but very much the, uh, the key folks uh, around the ARM community uh, tend to come to these events. Um, we've also found that uh, people uh, fr from other companies, not just our members, uh, uh, are coming along because they know that they can really uh, progress problems that, that they've got. Um, they can influence uh, where uh, ARM Linux software is going as well. These events I find very exciting. Pro probably because they're co-located right now with the Ubuntu Developer Summit. So it's really interesting to see the Ubuntu developers collaborate with the Lenaro developers. Some are, you know, have their hands in both places. Um, how would you like to see Lenaro Connect evolve mm. throughout the next cycles? Yeah. So the, the Ubuntu Developer Summits have been great for us. They, they've really taught us how to run um, a successful uh, week-long engineering event. And We've, we've really benefited not just from the, the interaction that we've had with their guys, but also from understanding how these conferences run. Um, as we grow, and you know, we've now got uh, almost 200 people coming to these events, then um, we're starting to look at running some of them on our own uh, and being able to really tune it to our needs, but also running it with some of the other uh, key conferences uh, around the world. So. Um, at the start of next year, we're going to be co-locating with uh, ELC, which I'm uh, really excited about. Uh, and uh, we'll probably be doing other conferences around the world next year, as well as continuing to uh, do um, uh, at least one event next year with, uh, with UDS. That's exciting. Um, what, to date, has been the hardest obstacle, in your mind, for Lenaro to overcome as a nonprofit group? And more specifically, how did you overcome it? I think it's just been really beneficial being non-profit. Uh, I can't think of any negative aspect to it. What, what it's allowed us to do is to have a very neutral position uh, in the industry, uh, a very non-threatening position. Uh, we've been able to bring together uh, companies who historically have been bitter rivals to work collaboratively together. One of the most exciting things for me is to walk around the rooms and see Samsung engineers working with TI engineers, working with ST Ericsson engineers um, collaboratively. And I don't think you could do that in a, in a profit-making uh, organization. Um, we can also um, uh, work more easily with other organizations. So when we're looking at, for example, setting up other Connect events, um, it's, it's a lot easier to work with a non-profit than a company who's looking for um, particular angles and uh, the, uh, the bottom line. So, You've been with Lenaro since, the, since you guys started a year and a half ago. How have you seen Lenaro change in that year and a half, and where would you like to see it go in the future? Yeah. So we, we started Lenaro before it was launched. We, we had a, our first get-together in... Um, the, the early part of 2010 and we were n not quite sure 
how things were going to go and where the organisation was going to go. Uh, and then we wrapped in initially a, a really excellent team and uh, our members have put in some of the best engineers from their organisation as well. And that's really turned us from uh, having a, a basic vision that we needed to do some um, consolidation of, of ARM open source software to having uh, a real ability to uh, influence and lead uh, on uh, ARM software work in, uh, inside uh, yeah, in the open source community. So uh, we've, um, we're, we're leading the work around kernel consolidation, um, unified memory management. Um, we'll be leading more and more uh, things in the future. So one of the things we've been running this week is a, a summit around servers so that we can start to really understand uh, some of the key uh, aspects involved in bringing ARM into the, into the server market and so on. So, so I see, firstly, increased leadership and we've got a lot of momentum behind us but I think that's going to grow as new members join the company and we increase the amount of engineering that we're able to do, we're able to bring in uh, more uh, experts and then we're also finding that the, the best guys uh, around the world are wanting, are wanting to get involved with Lenara and I think that that's going to continue as well. That, um, uh, you know, the people like Grant Likely and Arne Bergman and these sorts of guys are, uh, are, are very attractive to um, other uh, leading open source engineers. And uh, so I suppose those are the three things that I see uh, in terms of the, the, the growth of the company. I know, <clears throat> for me, um, it's exciting to watch how you guys have evolved and where you're going and, and see what the next cycle brings and, and even beyond that cycle. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to tell viewers that I haven't asked you about? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's perfectly fine. Um, for those who don't know that much about um, Lenaro um, yet, um, they can go to, I believe you have a website, lenaro.org, mm -hmm. that they can check out. Is there any other areas online that people could or should, or is that the landing page that you'd like to direct people to? That, that's a really good starting page. Um, there's loads of information uh, about Lenaro uh, online. We, we have a, a very extensive uh, wiki page. Uh, and one of the things that we have as a founding culture of the company is that as far as possible, everything uh, is open uh, in the organization. So for example, my HR director is really finds it deeply distressing that we list our entire engineering organization publicly. He's like, well, that's a great resource for people who want to come and take your engineers and bring them to their organization. I'm like, well, no, actually, it's a great advertising tool uh, for our organization that the people see the, the fantastic work that's going on the amazing engineers that are working with us and they want to come and work with us. So uh, I think that's a, a really uh, interesting part of not just the website but the, the, the general culture of the organization. And, and again, that is very attractive to, to, to uh, big businesses as well, you know, that we've got a lot of companies who are, um, you know, working pretty closely with Lenaro even if they're not on the, uh, the, the list that you see behind me. And like I said, <clears throat> I think it's an exciting time for ARM. I think it's an exciting time for Lenaro. And I love the fact that you all are changing that culture in the ARM, in the embedded space. You're, you're making it a more collaborative um, area to work in. Um, so thank you so much for taking time to talk to me here at Lenaro Connect. And uh, again, I look forward to seeing where you guys go in the future. Great. Thanks very much.